Hey everyone, welcome to DR Nayak at the Fitness Insights channel. Please like and subscribe to this channel to watch more workout videos and please provide comment if you like this video. So let's start with today's session on immune system boosting. So let's start by pulling our ears. Yes, you heard me correctly. The thing we used to do when we were children. Pulling our ears helps in increasing the blood circulation and boosting our immune system. So whenever you are free or any time during the day, just pull your ears. Now make rotation with your ears, making circles. Do it in opposite direction. This also helps in relieving the headache from migraine or stress. Release the posture. Now massage with your fingers from behind your ear. While you breathe in and breathe out. A light massage behind your ears. Releasing the tension. And take deep breath, a deep inhale and deep exhale. So I will be doing few stretches and poses which will help to boost your immune system. Now lower your head, raise your chin up and massage your throat with the help of your hands. And pull your chin up, your lips up. Feeling the stretch in your neck, in your throat. And release the posture. Take deep breath, a deep inhale and deep exhale. Now bring your feet close together. Try to bring it as close as possible to your body. Feeling the stretch in your thigh muscles. And move your knees up and down, flapping your knees. This is the butterfly pose, which helps in stretching our groin area, our thighs, improving the circulation in our lower body. So repeat it for 10 to 15 times, flapping your knees. And when you are done, just relax and release the posture. Take one deep breath, a deep inhale and deep exhale. Now extend both your legs in front. Keep your spine straight. Bend your left knee and take your right ankle close to your left knee. Your left hand straight. Inhale, raise your right arm. Exhale, twist to your left. Try to push your knee close to your chest with the help of your elbow. Hold this pose. This is the Matsendarasan. For 5 to 6 breaths, a very good posture to improve our digestion system as it gives a good twisting to our internal organs. When you are holding this pose, you can feel the stretch and twisting around your belly and if you feel okay you can wrap your hand around your right foot and hold this pose you can feel the stretch take a deep inhale raise your arm and release the posture now let's switch to our right side, bend your right leg, take your left foot close to your right knee, your right hand at the back, raise your left hand and twist to your right. Push your knee close to your chest, gaze at your right shoulder, hold and if you feel okay you can hold your left foot. A very good posture 
to improve our digestion system. Hold for five breath. Take a deep inhale and release the posture. Now come to the standing position. Your feet close together. Take support of your wall if you want and just raise your heels up. Stretching our calf muscles. A very good stretch to boost our immune system. Try to do it daily for at least 5 to 10 minutes. Stretching your feet, your calf muscles. Maintain your balance by gaze fixed at one point. And when you are done, just release the posture. Now come onto your foes in tabletop position. Exhale, come to the downward dog pose. Inhale, push your hips forward, drop your knees. Lie on your belly with palms close to your chest, your forehead on the mat. Feet together, inhale, raise your chest up for the cobra pose. A very good posture to strengthen our spine. Exhale, release the posture. We will do it twice. Try not to push your chest far up. Hold as long as you are feeling more comfortable. And release the posture. One last time. Inhale, lift your chest up. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Open your chest, your shoulder. Drop your head back on the mat. Now bend both your knees. Hold your big toes from outside, your forehead on the mat. Inhale, raise your chest up. And try to kick your legs in opposite direction. This way you will able to lift your chest up for the bow pose. Exhale, release the posture. Take one deep breath and let's repeat. Hold your toes, raise your chest and kick your legs Bow pose, a very good posture as it gives pressure on our belly and helps in improving our digestion system. Take one deep breath as we will be repeating one last time. Inhale, raise your chest up, kick your legs back. It also helps in opening our shoulders, our chest area. Exhale, release the posture. Take one deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Now sit. Extend both your legs in front. And we will be doing Matasya Asan or the fish pose. For that, bend your elbows. Keep your feet close together. Drop your head back. Touch the crown of your head on the mat. Stretch your toes. This is the fish pose. The fish pose helps in opening our chest. It stretches our chest, our belly. And carefully lift your head up. Let's repeat one more time. Catch your breath if you are feeling out of your breath. Stretch your toes. And lower your head. This also helps in opening our throat area, a good posture for thyroid. Hold this pose, keeping your shoulders relaxed, stretching your legs. Inhale, come back to the seated position. 
take one deep breath and bend forward for the counter pose now lie on your back and we will be doing supine twist asan bend your left knee and take your left knee over to your right side stretching your left hand hold this posture all the twisting asans are very good for our digestion system it improves our digestion system gives a good internal massage to our abdominal muscles our internal organs hold and when you're ready release the posture switch to our right side bend your right knee and take it over to your left side stretching your right arm hold now slowly release the posture and just relax here for one to two breaths turning sideways come to the seated position now we will be doing the kapal bhati pranayam for that cup your belly and feel how your belly rises when you inhale and how it contracts when you exhale do five such rounds keeping your focus on your breath feel the rise and fall of your belly do this for 8 to 10 rounds in silence observing your breath take a deep breath in and as you exhale contract your belly and force your air out keep repeating this You can feel your belly button pushing towards your spine when you exhale. Repeat this for 10 to 15 times. Try not to move your chest too much, forcing your air out through your nostrils. Relax. Take one deep breath before we will repeat. Take a deep breath. Let's repeat. Cup your belly. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Now, take a deep inhale and exhale while contracting your belly, forcing your air out of your nostril and not moving your chest, pushing your belly button towards your spine. relax take one deep breath a short break is necessary between two kapal bhati round this pranayam helps in clearing our nadis our lungs our respiratory system and even improves our metabolism system cup your belly let's start take a deep inhale exhale one big inhale and exhale contracting your belly pushing your belly button towards your spine repeat this for 10 times pushing your air out forcefully through your nose and relax now close your eyes relax take deep breath kapal bhati helps in cleaning our respiratory systems 
from all the toxins. It purifies, rejuvenates and refresh our body and mind. Sit in silence. Now, when you're ready, gently open your eyes. Thank you for spending your time with me.